As it turned out, that was exactly where the other inhabitants were. With the exception of one, anyway. Which one is it? Haru Makishima. She was in her usual agitated state. Tai Yamawaki. She was silently chanting something to herself. Meiku. Meiko! Not Meiku. Meiko. Haru-chan had her hands on her shoulders, but she still looked anxious. And finally... Ohayo. Okay, so the old man with glasses, the old the guy with glasses, uh, what what's his name? Kyunosuke. He's the one who's missing, and he's human, so we can only assume the worst at this point. Yasunaga Oribe. His face was grim. Those were all the people here, meaning that. A simple process of elimination was enough to know who was gone. Anyway, it was time for the first battle. Meiko, oide. She tried to walk to us. Dame! But Haru Makishima stopped her. Why would you stop her? It was time. I raised my stick and. Yasunaga Uribe stood in my way. He had a menacing looking grass sickle in his right hand. He steadied it for a swing at me. You all have lost your mind at this point. You wanted to join in. You people didn't want to let him. That's all on you guys. Also, I pressed it again too soon, I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys want to read it, it's right here. We'll hang him today, that will end everything. That was what I accidentally pressed forward too soon. Awesome. It really does look like a hostage situation if you're keeping someone from actually doing what they want. Basically, if you're trying to keep Mako from going with, you know, Haruaki and Chiami, then you're basically keeping her hostage. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yep, she's confused. They didn't say another word. Chami and Mako were the only ones who seemed confused at all. Basically, the others had prepared for this. Tarega村からの脱走は近畿。それは知ってる。問題は村からの脱走をミスミスミノガス側も汚れの対象になるかどうかって点。だから早朝にメイコの身柄を押さえた。これはまあ話としてわかる。もう一つ。昨日チエミとヤス
違う。Really now? 違わない。だから僕を黙らせるためにメイコを人質に取っている。違う。あなたがこの子を人質に取って僕らにひどい要求をすると思ったから。What? 僕にそんなことをして何の得がある。ぶっちゃけ僕は宴には関わってない。君だって納得してたはずだ。それが間違いだったんですよじゃあ、この場の他の誰が元凶だって言うんですか ?That is the question, isn't it? That's what the whole game is about. Finding out who is the cause of all the misfortune that's happening in this village. Whether it is a supernatural cause or whether it's just humans acting unhumane. Or inhumane. Well, what could he possibly lose? He's not from there. He, had, he doesn't have anything there except for the bike that he got, that got wrecked. Oh, so that was his story, huh? Sorry, Yasunaga kun. But you're a bad storyteller. 君は、嘘とか無茶を言うときに雄弁になる癖があるみたいだね。ふざけるのは、大概にしてください。さすがに今はおふざけは自重してるよ、安永くん。君は、人を感情で動かそうとしすぎている。そして、ちえみのことも舐めている。君の言動のおかしなところを、感情論で押し切れると思っている。確かに、すべての悪事を僕のせいにすれば、感情的には収まりがつくだろう。しかし一方で、君は自分のキャラを大事にしなさすぎだ。冷静沈着。年上の暴論にも理屈でこうするキャラをね。勝手な分析、やめてください。Is it pointless though? Is it? まあ、それは10年だか何年だか、君を見てきた村の方々が決めることだ。僕や君が決めるものじゃない。もちろん君だって、心境の変化があってもおかしくないほど、辛い体験をしたっていうのはわかる。じゃあ、聞いてみようよ。君が完全に理性を失って、僕というよそ者に怒りを向けているのか。あるいはとても冷静に、僕をくくって今日の宴を空振りさせ、自分の有利にことを運ぼうとしてるのか。つまり、昼の死刑を回避して、得をする陣営の人間なのか。パラワーキーは本当に良いです。もし、ヴィルジャーが聞いていると、私たちは、もし、もし、もし、もし、もし、To actually be a wolf, or that he is trying to manipulate you know, the votes in favor of the wolves. Shami is still at a loss. She gasped and looked at Yasunaga Oribe. There was suspicion in her eyes, not trust. あくまで元凶と言い続けた。自分が狼だと知っているから。Could it really be? Could we have finally uncovered who the wolf is? かといって勝負どころじゃ、つかなきゃならない嘘はつかなきゃダメなんだよ。知恵ねえこんな奴のことを信じるのそうやって、理屈に対して感情論しか準備してないのは、君の甘いところだ。I'm really curious as to who Haruaki is, you know, with how keen his mind is, with how quickly he comes up with these things, and how logical he could be, how much he could assess a situation the way he has done throughout this game. I have to wonder what is his story? Who really is he? What does he do? What is his job? Oh my god, I have so many questions regarding him that this game has yet to answer, and I really hope that this game does answer those questions, that we would get to see the backstory behind Haruaki, because 
Oh my goodness, I have no idea what to think with all of these characters. He had a point there. I did feel like shit about that. I should have joined the feast from the get-go. If I had, I wouldn't have wasted time on pointless arguments and autopsies. However... Ouch. <laughs> Once I said that, Yasunaga Oribe hung his head and fell silent. That was a low blow. Ten seconds of silence were enough for everyone to realize he'd, he'd lost the argument. However, the expression on his face was abnormally calm. He spoke as if it wasn't a big deal. And that would be... But that just made it seem even more abnormal. What? What? He tossed away the grass sickle. His voice wasn't nearly as passionate as before. It was cold and rational. He demonstrated a confidence rooted in sound logic. But I couldn't understand what he meant. What was the point of that? Oh my god. Figures, because she was flip-flopping. But if that's true, then at least we guessed one of them is the wolf, but... Yeah, now I think, if this is really the truth, then when you think about it, Tai's um, actions does make sense. She's the perhaps one of the most useless characters that are, you know, our so-called elder in the group that really didn't do anything. I couldn't make sense of this. Had he decided to graciously concede by selling out his partner now that he'd been cornered? No, he said he'd already won. Even if there were two wolves, there were four of us. They'd lose in votes, but one is Ayomi Beto, right? My answer came from a completely unexpected direction. Why did she look happy? A shout of pure, unadulterated joy. Haru Makishima became the least comprehensible of anyone present. She ran to Yasunaga Oribe and hugged him. He hesitated for a moment, but reciprocated. Meiko, still as clueless as ever, slowly walked over to us. Probably not a good idea. My question is well, what is going on? What is with the confidence from the other side? I really didn't, but... I'd had a feeling that something wasn't quite right for a while now, and I suspected it'd be made clear now. I was certain of it, and it left me feeling uneasy. Okay. He's too lazy for explanations. So she wasn't even denying it. Not me? Really, what truth would that be? The truth. 
Tai Yamawaki told us a story that was very similar to the legend they told in this strange village. Well, it was less like it was similar, and more like I was looking at it from the opposite angle. The part about Great Lord Shinai sending f the five guardians to help people was the same. Four of them then teamed up with the humans to murder the wolves. However, in the real story, the good and bad sides were completely reversed. Apparently, the people in the Four Guardians joined Yomi on the very first Feast of the Yomi Purge. Basically, all of them were Yomibito, what the fudge? They all ganged up on, on overpowered and expulsed the wolves who tried to resist until the very end. That meant this land had belonged to the Yomibito for a long, long time. The wolves were summoned here by none other than Lord than Shinai him, Sama himself. Some people of Yazumizu were given the blessing of the wolves and had to free Yazumizu of its Yomibito. Basically, it was a holy war for them. And that was the truth behind the feast of the Yomi Purge. Tai Yamawaki continued her explanation. So if it's reversed and we're, we were working for the bad guys? <laughs> What? <laughs> Who is actually telling the truth here? They just flipped the entire thing upside down and inside out. Jakarane, I really, I really don't have anything to say at this point. I, my mind is all scrambled at this revelation. Like I don't even know if it's the real thing, if if this is really the truth behind it all, or if there is like a third path, where or a third alternative. <laughs> Shall we say it? A truth to this, all, to this all that is actually the real truth and not just, you know, one side of the story versus the other side of the story. Taya Mawaki was crying. Alright, so she was now a confirmed culprit who believed the murders to be salvation. There were just two more points I didn't understand. The corruption and the eerie message. Most things made sense if you switched Shinai-sama's enemies and allies. The idea, the idea that people wearing those outfits could be the good guys was kind of weird, but well, that was the culture here. Or maybe only the Yomibito, me too, saw them as evil, maybe that was the story here. The problem here was that <laughs> Chiemi didn't know this. So even Yasunaga-kun didn't know about it. I remembered some of his words. Which words were that? Oh, that, yes. Giving them a motive to kill one another. He really hated lies, didn't he? He basically told me the truth of things. This feast actually had a system that made zealous murderers of people. Whatever, enough about Yasunaga, Oribe. She was glad when she realized Yasunaga Oribe was a wolf. Basically, she already knew the real story, that the wolves were the good guys. Why? Who told her? I really think that everyone here is crazy at this point. Nonsense. Insanity. Did she seriously decide to throw her life away over a dream? 
But on the day Oji Chan died, he died the night before Harachan tried to run away from the settlement. She believed the dream. She started to despair over being surrounded by Yomi Bito and planned to escape. That made sense. Because she's old and ancient. It all clicked. She believed. She believed the sudden revelation, despite a lack of proof, and that the man she liked was the minority that had justice on their side. And right now, she said she would betray the humans and join the wolves. She believed Yasunaga Oribe was right with all her heart. And so, the wolf Yasunaga Oribe had three votes for the feast. ルールを曲げて不採算を宴に呼んでも3票だ。決戦投票をしても1人に選ぶことはできない。What if um Rikako-san suddenly felt better and she just came bursting into the room and said, "I'll go and vote as well." 2人とも賭けることなく狼の勝ちです。楽勝でしたね。Easy for you to say. You made us are everyone's head spin. I believe I'm not the only one in saying that we didn't see it coming, even though now that we know it, we actually should have. I saw it clearly now. I understood. But I still have to wonder what the whole thing was with that scene we had during the first uh, death, the first time we got a key, where there was, I think there was a line that said, hide the wolf or something like that, hide, hide the pelt or something. If that is the case, then everyone would have been in on it, wouldn't they? I mean, or am I just misremembering what it was that happened during that particular scene? I hope I'm not. I really should go back and see if that is the case. Everyone had different reactions to my words. Chiemi backed away and gasped. Tai and Milwaukee closed her eyes and sighed. Mako didn't seem to understand anything. Go figure. Yasunaga Oribe didn't react at all. Haru Makishima was smiling. Oh man, all I really had left was struggling like the filthy, annoying adult, adult I was. Haru-chan. What? Ah, Ni-chan. This... Fusai-san, what will happen? Is he gonna die? Is that going to throw us back into the beginning with another loop? This way, if there's nothing to do with me, I'll kill myself. Oh, he's gonna interfere. So. Was that relief just now? Sorry, but I couldn't enjoy my son. But I couldn't enjoy my sudden jump in popularity. I wonder why Tai is asking Yasunaga that when, in fact, she would know a lot more than him. She has senior. She's supposed to have seniority, right? That dispassionate tone didn't do much to convince me he truly believed this ridiculous superstition. <sighs> you know Haruaki so well. Well, he has a point. Haruaki-san? ちょっと。あなたあれだけ。What is wrong with you people? Why are you suddenly? I don't know, 
wanting him to go and save Chiemi if Chiemi is a Yomi Biro that's supposed to be Purge. This game is really throwing my head into a loop. Good point. Well, yeah, I was pretty damn cold-blooded. Mm. Yes, and what would you, your response be, Haruaki-san? Oh, sorry about that, I pressed it. Haru-chan, yo. N-nani-yo? I-wakatte-ru-to-omou-ke-do-kimi-wa-shinu-ze. So-de-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-e-
That insane tale instantly convinced people that it was right to agree and to find peace in that. And I was actually surrounded by those very people. Understanding that made me remember that she was from here too. Is it Chami who's gonna end up killing Hiroaki? Chami wasn't trying to, to take a step forward. What's up, Dreamer Tribe? What's up, world? I am Bianca, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, and you want to be a part of the Dreamer Tribe, just hit on that subscribe button. We also have tons of different content here on my channel, so be sure to check those out. Until the next video, dream on, fly on.